Okay, everybody, the engage layout is now moved to the bedroom. And here it is. Um, it's using Kylie and Trap, but this right here will be going like this. See, this piece has to be worked on a little bit, so we put it right there because what's going to happen is got that trap piece right there. And we Yeah, put that on there, and so what will happen is piece right there will fit in right there. But yeah, Mr. Haggery, I can't thank you enough. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the size of the end gauge layout. Um, that module, me and him are building at his house. He's going to build my layout, and then the old gauge room will be done in our video. That turns out finally, but um, also got G scale come back into my life, so this video is not going to be long. But um, yeah, this thing does run, but it's not turn on at the moment. I got a lot of clean to do, but um, yeah, this is this is the end gauge layout, and this is how big it's going to get, and be using DC and DCC. See, this will be the inside oval, which will connect to to right there. So to what me and Mr. Haggery want to do. But yeah, I'm going to use Atlas Track on our layout. But yeah, it, it's going to come along very well. Um, couch got moved to here. Um, it's pretty nice, so. Hope y'all enjoy it, and got a lot of videos coming out soon. And, oh, and one more thing. If you're wondering why it's bare plywood, because I got to buy some foam. I got to finish this part, and I got to buy some more track, and then well, I will have a train run very soon. But, yeah, this will be like an invisible lake right here with a bridge. Um, it's it's going to be nice. Probably decide that I'm gonna put a little bit of yard on the end gauge for the inside oval, but that's up for debate. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this. It'll be nice and neat in here. The room will be nicer and neater. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this. See y'all later on this video. All right, bye.